Wales is famous for its rolling green countryside and beautiful coastline. Mountains, forests, fields, rivers. Our land and seas provide us with the resources we rely on to live, work and play. They give us our sense of place and underline our identity. Being part of this great outdoors enhances our lives and supports a thriving tourism economy. Our natural resources are working away 24-7. They provide us with food, water and clean air. They break down our waste material. They help to make us more resilient to extreme weather and help us to adapt to climate change. But demands on our natural resources are increasing and we're facing a number of risks. So we need to find a way to work together to build healthier relationships with our environment. By managing our natural resources sustainably to make our environment more resilient, we can create jobs and support sustainable housing and infrastructure development to help our economy thrive. If we don't act now to manage our natural resources, there'll be serious consequences that affect us all. We need to tackle the causes of climate change and reverse the decline in our biodiversity. The clock's ticking and it's time for us to build a new relationship with nature, our land and our waters. The new legislation that we have proposed will feed into Welsh Government policies leading to lasting benefits for us all. We want to make sure that our uplands are managed in a way that supports their natural function so that we can make the most of what they do for us. Healthier peat bogs will soak up more water, reducing water runoff which can contribute to flooding and also helping to purify water, essential for our households and businesses. Like forests, healthy peat bogs retain carbon, helping to counteract climate change and as our bogs and wet heaths regain their biodiversity, they will provide an important habitat for a variety of plants, animals and birds. We are planting and managing more diverse forests where the impact of any tree disease will be less severe. As well as locking away carbon, these forests will provide a habitat that is better for wildlife and more enjoyable for people too. By replanting hedgerows and woodlands, we can reduce the flow of rainwater, soil and pollutants entering our rivers and streams. Leaving wild corners and edges encourages more pollinators, including bees, which is good for the overall health of the ecosystem and important for commercial crops, such as fruit trees and honey. Less pollutants in the water system mean that our seas and beaches are cleaner. As the effects of our better management of our upland and wider river basin habitats start to trickle through, there should be fewer river floods affecting our urban areas. And by planning and creating more green spaces, woodlands and areas for growing local food, we'll open up a world of new opportunities for people to enjoy walking, cycling and recreation close to where they live and work. More greenery means that noise and pollutants should be better absorbed and air will be cleaner too. When our urban areas are more attractive places to live and work, they'll begin to attract more investment. We're taking a common sense approach to the challenges we face and the opportunities we have to ensure we have a fair and prosperous Wales. Everyone needs to be part of this joined up solution so that we can manage, improve and enjoy nature, our economy and society, both for the short and long term. To find out how you can get involved, visit the Welsh Government website.